All right, so today was the most annoying day, you guys. Chasing thieves nonstop. <laughs> people block the only way out of the parking lot that's the person's car and that's like the little space I think I could get through that and that's new actually don't even think I can make that like I don't know how many times I've been blocked in me and my mom will go get some coffees on the way there because you basically have to pass right by the place I didn't do an extra large either I did just a large and I did a double double trying to weed off that sugar there's my sound panels Black London 8s. That's the store that's making me wait for my sound panels. Apparently they have 14 orders to process and they're still doing curbside pickup, which is probably my fault. I should have done my research. And the guy told me my order will be ready by the end of the day. As you can see, I'm in the parking lot. I ain't going nowhere. What do you think, mom, you ready to wait all day? No. Is there an Ikea in Markham? There has to be an Ikea in Markham. Right? <laughs> I don't know that sound panels are gonna help when I record for the vlog, but I definitely think they'll help with the podcast. I did like a, a little pre-record with a friend of mine that's supposed to be on the podcast, and there was just such a ridiculous echo. I've tried rugs. I know people say you can hang up like carpets. I'd rather get pa like panels. So, and I've been thinking about it for like over a year. So I figure now, I just pull the trigger. I'm sweating so hard. Uh. Maybe not a quarter of the day, just something wise. Update. No desk at Ikea, didn't get the sound panels, actually canceled the order. One, because I realized it was irrational, I didn't need them, and I was frustrated with the service at the store. I saw Tyson, Justin Tyson walking, and he ran up to the car and jumped on the ledge of the car and kissed my forehead. So sweet. Remember Loki being this camera shot? I just tried to film him. Hold on, we'll see. Loki, Loki. <laughs> Leave Tyson alone if you don't want to play. They're actually doing really well. Hey, there he is, you little hairy bugger. There he is. He still doesn't want to be on camera though. <laughs> I forgot to feed Tyson. I was gonna feed him chicken, and then I'm like, hold on. I look at the clock. It's seven o'clock. I'm like, no, I gotta feed him dinner. <laughs> about done his delicious meal. Just had to get the broth all fixed up. Pour a little of that in there. The broth is a little watery. Like it's, it's supposed to look a little darker than this, but just said use one tablespoon. That's what I did. Hopefully it's enough. We're gonna make his uh, chicken treat so when he's done, he can get a snack. Let's, so we, we wait. Cause you know, you gotta wait. You wanna say hello? Go. Right. He's getting much better. Like he doesn't even flinch now. He's, he's getting so much better. Sweet breakfast kid. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we got eye booger again. There you go. Oh gun. Oh gun. Oh gun. Alright, loaded up the dishwasher.
tripods. I don't like the tripods I have. And this is kind of my thing. It's a legit love-hate relationship. I'm gonna show you guys what I have. What I have, man, Frodo, Joby, but the Joby's kind of worn out. I don't know what to do. My cave, I have this one too. I just literally bought this one two days ago. And then I saw this one, and this one has like something that I'm, I'm more inclined to like. Like I'll show you guys, it's got like a, oh, hold on, let me see if I can one hand this. I did it in the store. <laughs> Hold on. I hope it, I bought the right one, but it has like this little clip. You guys see that? That little clip right there that allows you to lock the phone in, and that kind of like enticed me a little more. And it was only it was only 50 bucks, so I was like, and it fits perfectly. Having the clip on it just makes it all the better. So, yeah, that's why that's why I got that one. <laughs> So at the beginning of the vlog for this week, I said that I had been chasing thieves all week and I wasn't lying. I think it was Saturday of last week is when it all started. A, guy, a customer came up to me, made me aware somebody had been in there and that was their second time in a matter of like 20 minutes and they were stealing. At this point, the person that had been accused of stealing comes up to me and says, where's the sugar? I said down that aisle. Started to kind of keep an eye on them. You know what, let me go get my assistant. We'll wait up at the front and we'll address the matter responsibly. So I guess that in the midst of me, you know, people asking me stuff, me going up there, I kind of lost sight of him, but I thought he was gonna leave through the front entrance forgetting that we had a mall entrance one of my produce clerks comes up to me he goes oh he just ran out that way so I go to see if he was there and then he was there and I, like my mind just blanked and I just I bolted I chased him I have the footage but I can't show you guys the footage because I don't essentially want to get myself in any more trouble just from telling the story you never know who could see something and I can get in trouble so I chased the guy all the way out into the street and that is essentially when I hurt my knee so he jumped down the stairs so I jumped down the stairs but as I jumped down I just landed on my right foot foot and oh, I felt all the weight of my body and, and, and just everything just right into the knee. You know, continued to run after him and eventually got across the street, got the product and I just, I don't know, like I think I just got to the point where I got fed up. You can always tell like you guys, the audience, you can tell when somebody looks suspicious in a grocery store, all right? Now when you start to work in residential areas, you don't see it as often, but when you hit the downtown core, you know, you see a lot of people come in with gym bags, you see a lot of people come in with knapsacks, if you see somebody come in with roller luggage, these are all like instant red flags. You know, pinpoint specific people, but you start to keep your eyes open. Towards the end of this week, I did the same thing again, and I'm just, I'm so mad at myself because I not only do I know that we shouldn't be doing it, it's incredibly unsafe, but I don't wanna be out there scrapping with nobody, fighting for nothing like that, right? Plus, I don't wanna get myself hurt, and in the midst of chasing somebody, I don't want them to get hurt. Yeah, they're stealing and that shit annoys me, but I don't wanna see anybody get hurt. That was pretty much the entire story. That was pretty much my entire week. That's what happened, and that is essentially how I hurt my old knees. This actually, so all of this stuff here, this is actually the other half of the rack that we put in the closet. So I decided, I was like, I was looking at them, like I got a bunch of junk, so camera bag is on here, one of them, and then this is just like your routine everyday bag, but I actually use it as a camera bag. These are like plastic Tupperware containers that we got at Walmart. Right. Got a bunch of little knickknacks in them, nothing crazy, you know. And then this one has all my wires and I think that's actually a game console, some SD drives. And then you got this one that's got some lenses, some cameras, Zoom H recorders, some tripods, and a little bit of everything. And then you got battery right here. You got some soda, bubbly. You got a homemade pasta maker. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And honestly, I feel like it just gives kind of a little bit more to the office, right? You have this here, you have the chair there. And then you go around. My desk, Jess's desk, and then all my stuff here. But actually too, it just makes it way more efficient because these boxes right here, I was constantly going into the, this here to grab some stuff or switch up the tripod if I wasn't happy or didn't like it. So it just ultimately made sense to have it out in the open. So Jess is gone to do her grocery shopping for her meal prep that she waited till like 7 p.m. to start. Tyson here, my little buddy, having a bit of a panic attack because she left. He forgets the better half is here. See, look, he 
I get it. Like he spends all day with her. So when she leaves, it really, really, really upsets him. But it just takes him a little bit to get over it. He's, he's honestly, man, he's a good big boy, but still a baby. So I forgot to mention that my trip to AV shops, which you guys saw earlier in the vlog, I just ended up canceling the order. I think I told you guys that in the video. Ikea. They had a desk. They had a huge desk for $199. Didn't have it in stock. And apparently if you wanted, you had to go to Don Mills and Finch, which is their warehouse. So I asked the guy, can you tell me the dimensions or give me a box that's similar in size? I have a decent sized car, but when you buy anything in a package, you just, you want to be prepared. I don't want to pay 250 bucks for a desk, drive there, it doesn't fit my car. I got to get a refund and I would have to drive back to Leslie, uh, Leslie and Shepard to get a, a refund and then go home. So that just seemed like a whole bunch of things that could go wrong just for a desk. So I didn't end up getting a desk. So, you know, Friday was kind of a bust, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next week. Peace. Mm -hmm.